Hello everybody. That is a chunk of ambrosia maple. And that is a longer chunk of mahogany with a walnut strip glued. And that is a broken pencil lid. So I cut it down so I could have a bowl with a lid. And then I'm going to cut this into 15 segments. No, I'm not. Actually, I'm going to cut it into 12 segments at 15 degrees. I need more coffee. So the first thing I'm going to do is get it nice and round and then start shaping the bottom of the bowl. And here I'm just marking the uh, recess, which I'm going to use for reverse mounting. And the other line on the outside there was uh, just marking for the foot, because I like to incorporate the mounting recess with the foot uh, evenly so it looks good by design. A recess by itself, just left there, uh, can be kind of unsightly. Just showing you that I sanded up to 1000 grit. And I'll talk more about the finish towards the end of the video. I knew there was something special about this chunk of wood when I picked it up. Look at that figure. And that whole other side flashed with chatoyance. And the best is yet to come. I knew those little ambrosia beetles had dug around in there and left some beautiful patterns. But that, uh, that grain movement and the flash, just gorgeous. Man, I love wood turning. There's always a hidden surprise in the wood.
And there's the 12 segment ring from those segments that I cut out earlier in the video. Got it all clamped up, just waiting for that glue to dry so I can mount it on the bowl. I've got that glued up. I'll put about 20 pounds of weight on it and let that dry overnight. Subscriber project time. Let's take a look at some of the talent in this audience. George Dixon made this. Just gorgeous. I love those handles. Some good work. James Lewis made this out of cedar. I just love that. Nice work. Bill Stearns made these. Look at that. Resin inlay. That one's really nice. Mike Hunter. These are some beautiful pieces. Gorgeous. I love that. That's some great work on those emblems there, Mrs. Hunter. Well, like it says, I sure appreciate each and every single one of you that has subscribed. Some of you have been with me for years, and some just recently. I appreciate all of you. Thanks so much for helping my channel grow. And this is the lid for the bowl. The hole in the center goes all the way through. And the reason I did that was because I'm using a dowel to uh, mount the handle for the lid. And there's a look at the little knob that I'm making as a handle. And that's a walnut dowel sticking out the end there. This knob is made out of the same material as the segmented ring. So there's a little strip of walnut sitting on top of mahogany. Should be a nice match. And this is the next morning and the final turning.
at this point I had sanded up to uh, 220 started at 120 I applied some denatured alcohol to raise the grain and clean it off some and then I started back with 220 went to 500 and then 1000 grit sanded it until it felt like glass and here I'm sealing it up with some shellac put quite a few coats of shellac on there tried to smooth it out as best I could and then I went over it with Axe products super smooth super polished and that's what it looks like I gotta say I was pretty happy with how this turned out the deep flash chatoyance the spectacular grain those crazy beetles look at all that movement from the handle all the way down to the base walnut mahogany ambrosia maple a forest in a bowl Well, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, everybody. I sure appreciate it. God bless and Semper Fi.